Uh, this morning we had a great laser course just to really cover the practical aspects of using a laser. Um, explain a little bit about the theory, how to work with lasers, with the initiated tip, the uninitiated tip. Those little key points that I find a lot of clinicians have challenges uh, understanding when they use a laser clinically. And then we jumped into the, into the clinical uses, how to trough around a tooth so you don't have to pack cord, how you might use it for uh, in the hygiene department to reduce the bacteria in the sulcus, how to treat areas where there's infection in the tissue, the necrotic t tissue areas. Uh, we went through phrenectomies and just a, a biopsy, fibroma removal type procedures. So a lot of just the basic procedures that uh, I think that clinicians need to know how to do if they have a laser. But then for those clinicians that still don't have a laser and they're trying to figure out if they'll fit in their practice, we, we try to show them all the many uses and again how easy it is to use a soft tissue laser if they, if they would now so choose to make that type of purchase. Well, you have to look at it in a couple different ways. I look at a soft tissue laser as a way to make my everyday clinical dentistry easier. So when it comes down to a basic crown prep, I could either pack a cord before I take my impression or I could take the laser and just what we call trough around the tooth, which means we create a physical separation between the hard tissue tooth margin and the soft tissue margin as if we had just removed a cord without having to actually pack a cord. So we take the laser and because a soft tissue laser only cuts soft tissue, as we run that laser around the tissue, we remove the tissue, we create that separation, we cauterize the tissue so we don't have to use a hemostatic agent and we can take our impression right away. We don't have to wait for the cord to stretch the tissue out, we don't have to wait for a hemostatic agent to effectively stop the, the bleeding. We get kind of immediate coagulation. So in that regard, it makes my everyday crown and bridge dentistry much, much easier. If we get into how you can make money with the laser, then we get into things like doing gingivectomies. If I'm going to do a luminaire case or an anterior veneer case and I want to create better symmetry of the soft tissues, move the gingival zenith so it creates uh, more idealized angulations of the teeth, I can do that very quickly with a soft tissue laser. And I will tell you, one of the things that we discussed this morning is with the minimal prep to no prep veneers, such as a luminaire type of case, many times I can just apply topical and aesthetic to the patient's gums, go in and do my soft tissue recontouring, take my impression for my no prep veneers. So I, I've accomplished all this without ever having to give the patient any type of injectable an anesthetic at all. And I will tell you that that's a thrill for many of the patients that we have. Uh, I do implants and when I go to uncover the implants is that tissue has overgrown the uh, implant body. I can go in there and just uh, take that tissue away to uncover the healing cap so I can get my abutment in there. And many times again, I don't have to give the patient any anesthetic. I just lay some topical anesthetic in the little hole, you know, if the tissue hasn't completely covered that healing cap, cap up yet, and vaporize that tissue. The patient heals up fine. They don't have any bleeding. They don't have any discomfort with any of that procedure. We talked about how a hygienist can use the lasers for laser bacterial reduction or sulcular debridement. Um, again, that's, that's a, those are both procedures that you could build additional uh, fees for in addition to your traditional prophylaxis or scan and root plane. So we covered a myriad of different clinical procedures this morning. Yeah, that's a great question. You know, I think the biggest mistake I see is a laser, especially a soft tissue laser, is very easy to integrate. Uh, going back real quick, because I had some questions about hard tissue lasers, I think hard tissue lasers are great instruments to have in the office. But a hard tissue laser, in order to get the most out of it, you, you have to change the way you practice your dentistry. You're going to schedule your patients a little bit differently. You're going to be managing the patients a little bit differently. A soft tissue laser will just integrate into your practice as if nothing has changed. It's just going to make your everyday dentistry easier. So one of the things that I see is the, the greatest mistake, uh, whether a clinician has or does not have a soft tissue laser yet, is just not using it. Uh, many of the doctors I talked to at the seminar, they have lasers and as we, we've kind of inspired them to use it and they've just had it sitting around for a couple of years and many of them have lasers that have been that were purchased 10 years ago and they were just afraid no, nobody ever explained to them how to use that laser. So I think one of the biggest mistakes I see is just not using it. You know, I think a lot of clinicians are afraid that if they pick up a laser, they're going to slice away a big chunk of tissue. And, you know, the, the soft tissue lasers, especially the way that we talked about them this morning, what you're going to do is you're going to gently brush away layers of, of uh, gingiva soft tissue at a time. You're not going to make big slices like you would the scalpel or an elastic surge. You're just going to trace out and remove 
remove very precisely that area of gum tissue that you want to remove and you can't really overdo it. Um, for hygiene, the hygienist using a soft tissue laser isn't going to harm the dent and cementum or enamel or the bone because it's a soft tissue laser only. So I, I think one of the biggest mistakes is being fearful of a soft tissue laser, the ones that we talked about today being the soft tissue diode lasers. And the biggest mistake, again, is just not using them.